Many of you probably know what this already is, but for those who don't, it's a refractometer. It's what we in the saltwater and brackish water world use to check the salinity levels of our aquarium water and new water that we're adding into the fish tank. This video will cover more or less how to use the refractometer. You'll want to properly calibrate the refractometer before using it. I recommend using a calibration solution to guarantee you are getting appropriate readings. To calibrate it, you'll want to take the little screwdriver out of the box, then pop off this rubber piece, place the, the solution on the eyepiece, look through the lens, and tighten or loosen the screw depending on what salinity level the solution recommends you test for. If anybody is interested in a more in-depth video about that, let me know. I'll be happy to share one. I'll go into more depth on how to actually test your salinity levels in the next part of the video, but essentially what you'll do is you'll open up the flap, grab the pipette that comes in the box, fill it with water, pour the water on the eyepiece, close the flap, and then look through the lens to see what the salinity level is at. Here we have our pipette we put into the bucket of salt water. I like to triple rinse the pipette just to make sure there's no residual salt in there. Then you get some of the water, put it on the eyepiece. Then of course we're going to close the flap and look through the lens. I'm aiming for a salinity level of 1.025. Hopefully I mixed my salt water properly. It's hard to look through the lens with the camera, but I'll do my best. As you can see, salinity level is just below 1.025. So it's not exactly what I want. I'll add a little bit more salt to compensate and retest. But just to give you an idea of what it would look like with no salt water on the eyepiece, here it is. There's no white bar. That likely means there's no salt in the water. Hopefully this video gives you a quick rundown on how to use the refractometer. It's a great tool to have. It's probably my go-to salt water testing tool. Great for water changes. It's quick and easy to use. And I highly recommend it for most instances. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you want more tutorials. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.